seems uh, so much uh, you can't go anywhere without having these, these broad conversations. And I bring it up to you because you're from a long line of coaches. Uh, it's in your blood. It always has been. And, and, I, just, and I, I realize you're, you're the Kentucky head football coach, a prominent member of, of this league. But when you see all the, the movement, uh, it, it, college football today looks like trading on Wall Street. Uh, what are your thoughts when, when you watch all this happen? Well, obviously very concerned. You know, I think a lot of us are concerned because we love this game. Yeah. You know, we, we love uh, this game. It's provided a lot for us, yes, but that's not why we got into this, and mm -hmm. I'm sure you the same. Very passionate about what we do. And, um, you know, there, there are obviously some good changes, and there are things that are just very concerning. And, uh, and I think that's uh, what worries a lot of us. And um, as I mentioned in, you know, my talk up there, and a lot of this is out of our control. Sure. And, uh, you know, that, that's uh, kind of scary. You know, I hate to say co coaches are control freaks because people are going to flip that. They're going to say, you, you do, you, you decide the narrative. That's not true. And, and Coach Saban said this yesterday somewhere on one of his things that I saw. But, you know, he is genuinely interested in the good of college football and the good of all athletes. There's a lot of us are, you'd be surprised, you're in our meetings and do, do every one of us want to protect our university and do what we have to do? Absolutely. However, we do have interest in, in all the good of, of all college athletics. And right now, we're, we're in a bad place, in a, in a, I should say, a scary place of where college athletics is headed. Listen, I, I, wa I want to believe that, and I'm not in those meetings like you mm. are, and, and I do know these people, mm. uh, but it, it's hard to sit on the other side of it, out mm. in the audience here, and not think that a, lo a lot of what we hear is self-serving. Yeah. Um, and I won't get specific, but, you, but, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, I'm not asking you to convince us. You're a football coach. You're not a politician. But, it, but there, there's a, a high degree of cynicism uh, permeating the air of college sports. I, I, w I will not be a politician, but speak the truth. You know, there, every one of us are going to play by the rules that are given to us. Sure and what's going on in other conferences or other teams and, you know, keep up. I mean, as I've mentioned many times, nobody's interested in going backwards. And we're interested in doing what we can do. And there's many people <laughs> that are gonna push the envelope as far as they can. However, I truly believe that, that, that we're unified in this. What we're doing right now is, is not good. I, I believe our head coaching meetings, and I, I hate speaking for other people, but I just know, you know, and I'm not, I'm, we're speaking general right now, but I mean, I know we're a consensus that, that, the, the, that what's going on in certain elements of this is not sustainable and is very concerning and what's it gonna look like in the future. And, and I, I know that, that many of, of certain generations, and you're in that generation, uh, Coach Saban, mm -hmm. but not many are, mm -hmm. uh, are genuinely concerned, but but they're they're, in in and you were part of that new breed at one time. Yeah, your family was. members yeah. were part. It, it's getting more difficult though to be concerned about the greater good and about what happens next because you're trying to survive today. It's a great point, and I think. You do get to a point where it's like you know, it, in 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 this world we're we're kind of creating. Mm -hmm. Everybody better get theirs, and I know the easiest criticism is. Well, that's easy for you to say. You know, you, you make a lot of money and you've been in that position and so you're, you can't relate. That's not true. You know, I was 28, 29 years old. I made $12,000 a year. I lived in a dorm. You know, I grew up with nothing. I didn't get into this for all that. You know, I love this game and I love the opportunities and, and I've loved every level I've been at. Never, never really... The end game for me wasn't to be the head coach of Kentucky for 10 years. I didn't know where that was going. Right. So, and I, and I do think, you know, coach and, and other members in a, in a large portion of it are concerned. However, there is the, the young, you know, the young generation. Sure. Hey, they're in a, I better get this now. You know what I mean? I better get it. I better do what I have to do. And, and, and this is my opportunity. So you got to make the most of it. And uh, that's where, you know, it, you know, it is what it is. I don't blame anybody. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe.
to ESPN+. Plus.